Guys, I have so many of you asking me questions about manifesting money. I think this is a topic that nobody can ever get enough of. I mean, who wouldn't mind some extra wealth and abundance on the side? Money lets you have the experiences you desire in life. It enables you to pursue the goals that truly fulfill your soul, because if you have a nagging financial worry in the back of your head, it's not going to let you focus on anything else. That's how we have been wired by Mother Nature. Our survival instincts kick in whenever we worry about money, because quite frankly, money is important. It is super important. I don't really get this idea of people thinking money is not for spiritual people. So, I just came across Fish and Lackiani's interview. He is the owner of Mind Valley. He was talking about how people have this false belief that pursuing material goals like money and success cannot coexist with spirituality. The reality, however, is that spiritual people have been the most goal-oriented people on the planet. They were dreamers and achievers. They always pursued growth and accomplishment, and sometimes that meant accomplishing material things as well. So, this is my first message to you. Please don't shy away from desiring more wealth and riches in your life. You absolutely deserve to live a life of luxury and opulence. You deserve to experience whatever the world has to offer, and only financial freedom can get you there. Hope we are clear on that one. Now comes the point of manifesting that money. My channel is already full of techniques from winning the lottery to manifesting a large sum of money. But today, I don't want to give you some advice that changed my life. This is the best money advice you will ever hear from me, so please listen carefully. So, first, I want you to set goals for yourself. Some rock-solid goals that make the hair at the back of your neck rise up. Let your goals be grand. Extravagant. Imagine the best version of you three to five years down the lane. What kind of house would you be living in? What car would you be driving? What experiences would you be choosing? What kind of social circle would you have? Now, I am not going to judge you if you desire a lavish villa in the most expensive city in the world or a small house on a secluded island. Choose what brings you happiness. That's what matters here. By the way, you shouldn't judge yourself either. Dream of anything you want. You can set goals that sound impossible to be realized. I don't care. All I want is for you to be invested in your future. Once you have your list of goals or aspirations, please write them down on paper. Now let me quickly tell you why I recommend you have goals as a way to manifest money. The reason is that I want you to be clear. Very clear about the kind of money you desire. Some people wish for millions of dollars a month, but in reality, they just want a lifestyle that even multiple thousand dollars a month can provide. You are wasting your time affirming and visualizing a million dollars a month or whatever if that money doesn't align with what you really want. So I suggest you focus on your vision for your future. The kind of life that money should provide you with rather than fixating on the number. So, once you have your goals in place of what you want to have in like three to five years time, you have taken the most important step for manifesting that money. Our intentions and goals are powerful. Without them, we would be clueless. I love how Jim Ron puts this. He says, 10 years from now, you will surely arrive. The question is, where? So, you want to plan where you want to arrive or nothing will mean anything. Even if you manifest billions, but you don't know what to do with them or what kind of life they can give you, what's the point of having those billions? After setting your goals, the next step is to carve out a path that will lead to those goals and who can be a better guide than the universe itself. Do you want the universe to help you find the easiest path to your goals and dreams? Then start sitting in silence every day. This is what we also call meditation. Yes, you have to start meditating every single day if you are serious about changing your life and manifesting the money you want. Do you want to know why I am insisting on meditation? So, here's the simple logic. Our minds are always busy and distracted. Do you sometimes feel like there is so much noise in your head all the time? That's what the majority feels. We are constantly bombarded with sensory overload that makes our minds overwhelmed. But if you need guidance from the universe, you need to first empty your mind of all the junk, and meditation is the perfect way of doing that. When you will start sitting in silence every day, you will start getting downloads from the divine about what route to take. Opportunities will start coming the way that will take you to your goals. People think meditation is just for relaxation. No, it's much more powerful than that. 
It's a way of receiving information from the source. Ask any advanced meditator, and they will tell you what wonders it did for them. And if your aim is to manifest wealth, it will surely help you with that too. Just try it out. That's it. Just a two-step process to manifesting money without working hard for it. I couldn't have made it any simpler. Now I don't want you to waste any time. Go on and set some fantastic goals, and then start a daily meditation practice. You will forget all other techniques and manifesting rituals because of the sheer simplicity of the advice I just gave you. Now guys, the next step in your manifestation journey is to keep watching this channel. Click now on the video on the screen to get access to the most inspiring content about Neville Goddard on the internet.